Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Mikey Bustos of Mikey Bustos Videos, and you are watching TDC Moncton. Hey folks, it's Nick, and unfortunately I was with Tim, but he decided to bail on me. He didn't tell me the reasons why, but I'll probably learn later. I just came out of seeing Super 8, and I have to say that it's the first movie that I actually applauded, and unfortunately it was about the only one that applauded in the theater, to the embarrassment of Tim. But the movie itself is well worth the wait, and it's well worth the actual pay that they gave to the... Uh, to the actors. Out of all the movies I've seen in my years, this for me is now the new Goonies for the fact that they had a bunch of kids put together doing a Super 8 film and they had circumstances around them that fell for them. Now before I forget this, thank you so very much to the uh, to the town of Wyerton in West Virginia for uh, being the location for this film because you guys gave it the flair that it needed to and uh, the uh, people that actually worked on the period pieces actually made it work well. Uh, it was 1980s-ish and it actually decided to actually go um, without any issues. Now I'm going to do this outside of my car. Yes, I'm still here. And I'm going to uh, do it so I actually have some light. now. The uh, the film itself is set where there's it, they uh, wrote it well, in fact very well. It was well scripted. The lines were there, the emotions were there. Uh, for those that are affected by loud noises, loud effects, you may not like it as much because there are loud effects in here. Um, there is no real blood to be seen. Uh, thankfully enough, they, they, they got away from using blood, guts, and gore. But there's still a sanglant to it. It's a little bit, there's a little bit of bloodiness that's actually a, a attached to it for the fact that they had to make it credible. Uh, like any movie, it's actually tied into the fact that you um, are transported away, so you leave your beliefs out of the theater and leave your mind open and your heart open to the storyline because it's not entirely not credible, it's actually quite plausible. <laughs> um, if you took Goonies, mixed it in with a little bit of VT and mixed it in with um, Encounters of the Third Kind, this is the movie that it would be more or, more or less. Uh, the uh, kids had a project for a movie, then they decided to do it, and that if you stay until the end of the credits, you'll actually get a chance to see the kids' movie edited from start to finish, which is well worth the wait. It's a mini short movie inside the movie. <laughs> uh, the movie itself is well worth the ticket price. It is. Uh, the actors were entirely in their role, they were right in the zone, Props go to the little, uh, the, the uh, little girl, well little girl, I shouldn't say little girl, I'll say teenage girl who was actually doing her role as one of the group members, Alice I think her name was in the movie, and uh, to the adult actors who actually helped the kids, the kids were actually the stars of the movie. That's the fun part about it. That and the alien. Now the alien, I have to warn you, if you're one that doesn't like to be teased, with alien bits and pieces here and there. Unfortunately, the movie does that up until about three quarters of the movie, and then you get to see the full-on alien, a good look at its face, a good look at its morphology, its physiology, and you're happy. You don't leave the theater pissed off, angry, left with an empty pit in your stomach feeling that you've been cheated. None, none of that crap X-Files bullshit when they they decide to actually have an episode where there's no real monster, it's just somewhere out there and you never see it. Finally, they decide to make it right. And the fact that they used Industrial Lights and Magic, or LucasArts, I think, I'll have to check into it. And, uh, well, guys, I'm gonna get you the cast listing of IMDB. Take a look at the people that they have in the movie. It's well worth it. It's really, really well worth it. Everything was completely well done. And for me, it's absolutely two thumbs up and it's going to be added into a collection once it comes out in Blu-ray DVD. Anyways, for me alone, 
It was Nick. Have a nice one.